school and family. Unit 21. Defense. Stay low and bend your knees. Come over here. Yes, coach? Jackson, when you're playing defense, keep your knees bent and your body low. It helps you keep your balance and it allows you to move more quickly in every direction. Like this? That's right. You should attempt to stay on the balls of your feet. It's like you are getting ready to pounce. Athletes never rest on their heels. Should I stand with my legs close together or far apart? It is best to keep them about shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and keep your back straight. Spread your arms straight out at your sides. This seems almost like I'm getting ready to attack the ball. It is a little bit like that. Your stance looks much better than before. Coach, how do I move forward and backward on defense? I feel like my stance is fine, but when I try to dart toward my opponent, I keep tripping over my feet. When you move forward, put your right foot in front of you with your toes pointing in the direction you want to go. When you move backward, just reverse it. Follow the direction of your left foot. How are you feeling? My legs are tired and my back aches. Playing defense is hard work. Take a break, then we'll try it again. School and Family Unit 21 Defense Stay low and bend your knees. Come over here. Yes, coach? Jackson, when you're playing defense, keep your knees bent and your body low. It helps you keep your balance and it allows you to move more quickly in every direction. Like this? That's right. You should attempt to stay on the balls of your feet. It's like you are getting ready to pounce. Athletes never rest on their heels. Should I stand with my legs close together or far apart? It is best to keep them about shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and keep your back straight. Spread your arms straight out at your sides. This seems almost like I'm getting ready to attack the ball. It is a little bit like that. Your stance looks much better than before. Coach, how do I move forward and backward on defense? I feel like my stance is fine, but when I try to dart toward my opponent, I keep tripping over my feet. When you move forward, put your right foot in front of you with your toes pointing in the direction you want to go. When you move backward, just reverse it. Follow the direction of your left foot. How are you feeling? My legs are tired and my back aches. Playing defense is hard work. Take a break, then we'll try it again. School and Family Unit 21 Defense Stay low and bend your knees. Come over here. Yes, coach? Jackson, when you're playing defense, keep your knees bent and your body low. It helps you keep your balance and it allows you to move more quickly in every direction. Like this? That's right. You should attempt to stay on the balls of your feet. It's like you are getting ready to pounce. Athletes never rest on their heels. Should I stand with my legs close together or far apart? It is best to keep them about shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and keep your back straight. Spread your arms straight out at your sides. This seems almost like I'm getting ready to attack the ball. It is a little bit like that. Your stance looks much better than before. Coach, how do I move forward and backward on defense? I feel like my stance is fine, but when I try to dart toward my opponent, I keep tripping over my feet. When you move forward, put your right foot in front of you with your toes pointing in the direction you want to go. When you move backward, just reverse it. Follow the direction of your left foot. How are you feeling? My legs are tired and my back aches. Playing defense is hard work. Take a break, then we'll try it again. School and Family Unit 21 Defense Stay low and bend your knees. Come over here. Yes, coach? Jackson, when you're playing defense, keep your knees bent and your body low. It helps you keep your balance and it allows you to move more quickly in every direction. Like this? That's right. You should attempt to stay on the balls of your feet. It's like you are getting ready to pounce. 
Athletes never rest on their heels. Should I stand with my legs close together or far apart? It is best to keep them about shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and keep your back straight. Spread your arms straight out at your sides. This seems almost like I'm getting ready to attack the ball. It is a little bit like that. Your stance looks much better than before. Coach, how do I move forward and backward on defense? I feel like my stance is fine, but when I try to dart toward my opponent, I keep tripping over my feet. When you move forward, put your right foot in front of you with your toes pointing in the direction you want to go. When you move backward, just reverse it. Follow the direction of your left foot. How are you feeling? My legs are tired and my back aches. Playing defense is hard work. Take a break, then we'll try it again. School and Family Unit 21 Defense Stay low and bend your knees. Come over here. Yes, coach. Jackson, when you're playing defense, keep your knees bent and your body low. It helps you keep your balance and it allows you to move more quickly in every direction. Like this? That's right. You should attempt to stay on the balls of your feet. It's like you are getting ready to pounce. Athletes never rest on their heels. Should I stand with my legs close together or far apart? It is best to keep them about shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and keep your back straight. Spread your arms straight out at your sides. This seems almost like I'm getting ready to attack the ball. It is a little bit like that. Your stance looks much better than before. Coach, how do I move forward and backward on defense? I feel like my stance is fine, but when I try to dart toward my opponent, I keep tripping over my feet. When you move forward, put your right foot in front of you with your toes pointing in the direction you want to go. When you move backward, just reverse it. Follow the direction of your left foot. How are you feeling? My legs are tired and my back aches. Playing defense is hard work. Take a break, then we'll try it again. Unit 22. The Importance of Writing This is terrible. I hate this assignment. What's wrong, Timmy? I'm frustrated because I need to write a book report and I can't get started. May I see your paper? There's nothing here. I can't think of anything to write and it's due tomorrow. To make matters worse, we have to perform an oral presentation in front of the entire class. I don't see the purpose of writing a book report anyway. Writing is a necessary skill that you'll use for the rest of your life. This book report is just one way to begin learning that skill. It's another form of communication and a means of expressing your thoughts. It allows others to understand what is in your heart and mind. I've never had to write before. Why should I start now? Now is the best time to begin. The best writers read a lot and practice writing. Anyone can learn to write well. I know you can do it. Okay, Mom. When you put it that way, I think I can do it. That's the right attitude. Let's try to organize some of your thoughts by brainstorming. What can you tell me about the book? The book? I've only watched the movie. Does that count? Oh, goodness. What kind of child am I raising? One that probably won't be a famous writer. Unit 22. The Importance of Writing This is terrible. I hate this assignment. What's wrong, Timmy? I'm frustrated because I need to write a book report and I can't get started. May I see your paper? There's nothing here. I can't think of anything to write and it's due tomorrow. To make matters worse, we have to perform an oral presentation in front of the entire class. I don't see the purpose of writing a book report anyway. Writing is a necessary skill that you'll use for the rest of your life. This book report is just one way to begin learning that skill. It's another form of communication and a means of expressing your thoughts. It allows others to understand what is in your heart and mind. I've never had to write before. Why should I start now? Now is the best time to begin. The best writers read a lot and practice writing. Anyone can learn to write well. I know you can do it. Okay, Mom. When you put it that way, 
I think I can do it. That's the right attitude. Let's try to organize some of your thoughts by brainstorming. What can you tell me about the book? The book? I've only watched the movie. Does that count? Oh, goodness. What kind of child am I raising? One that probably won't be a famous writer. Unit 22. The Importance of Writing This is terrible. I hate this assignment. What's wrong, Timmy? I'm frustrated because I need to write a book report and I can't get started. May I see your paper? There's nothing here. I can't think of anything to write, and it's due tomorrow. To make matters worse, we have to perform an oral presentation in front of the entire class. I don't see the purpose of writing a book report anyway. Writing is a necessary skill that you'll use for the rest of your life. This book report is just one way to begin learning that skill. It's another form of communication and a means of expressing your thoughts. It allows others to understand what is in your heart and mind. I've never had to write before. Why should I start now? Now is the best time to begin. The best writers read a lot and practice writing. Anyone can learn to write well. I know you can do it. Okay, Mom. When you put it that way, I think I can do it. That's the right attitude. Let's try to organize some of your thoughts by brainstorming. What can you tell me about the book? The book? I've only watched the movie. Does that count? Oh, goodness. What kind of child am I raising? One that probably won't be a famous writer. Unit 22. The Importance of Writing This is terrible. I hate this assignment. What's wrong, Timmy? I'm frustrated because I need to write a book report and I can't get started. May I see your paper? There's nothing here. I can't think of anything to write, and it's due tomorrow. To make matters worse, we have to perform an oral presentation in front of the entire class. I don't see the purpose of writing a book report anyway. Writing is a necessary skill that you'll use for the rest of your life. This book report is just one way to begin learning that skill. It's another form of communication and a means of expressing your thoughts. It allows others to understand what is in your heart and mind. I've never had to write before. Why should I start now? Now is the best time to begin. The best writers read a lot and practice writing. Anyone can learn to write well. I know you can do it. Okay, Mom. When you put it that way, I think I can do it. That's the right attitude. Let's try to organize some of your thoughts by brainstorming. What can you tell me about the book? The book? I've only watched the movie. Does that count? Oh, goodness. What kind of child am I raising? One that probably won't be a famous writer. Unit 22. The Importance of Writing This is terrible. I hate this assignment. What's wrong, Timmy? I'm frustrated because I need to write a book report and I can't get started. May I see your paper? There's nothing here. I can't think of anything to write and it's due tomorrow. To make matters worse, we have to perform an oral presentation in front of the entire class. I don't see the purpose of writing a book report anyway. Writing is a necessary skill that you'll use for the rest of your life. This book report is just one way to begin learning that skill. It's another form of communication and a means of expressing your thoughts. It allows others to understand what is in your heart and mind. I've never had to write before. Why should I start now? Now is the best time to begin. The best writers read a lot and practice writing. Anyone can learn to write well. I know you can do it. Okay, Mom. When you put it that way, I think I can do it. That's the right attitude. Let's try to organize some of your thoughts by brainstorming. What can you tell me about the book? The book? I've only watched the movie. Does that count? Oh, goodness. What kind of child am I raising? One that probably won't be a famous writer. Unit 23. The Course Schedule It's so difficult to choose what courses to take this semester. Henry, have you chosen all of your courses yet? No, Sue. I'm having a hard time making up my mind, and I still need to select two more. 
Do you have any ideas? Do you know anything about the professors? I heard that the psychology professor is tough but fair. If you work hard, you can get a good grade. Psychology sounds interesting. How about we both sign up for psychology? Then we'd be in the same class and we could help each other with assignments. I remember the last class we took together. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Oh, come on. It would be fun. I promise I'll attend the classes and not just borrow your notes this time. Thanks. I was thinking about taking film studies. Why don't you take that? I like going to the movies, but I don't want to study them. I know someone who took that course last year, and she said it's very easy. Almost everyone gets an A or a B, and there is no homework. That is tempting, but I want to learn something useful. Fine, but don't complain to me if you get a C. Unit 23 The Course Schedule It's so difficult to choose what courses to take this semester. Henry, have you chosen all of your courses yet? No, Sue. I'm having a hard time making up my mind, and I still need to select two more. Do you have any ideas? Do you know anything about the professors? I heard that the psychology professor is tough but fair. If you work hard, you can get a good grade. Psychology sounds interesting. How about we both sign up for psychology? Then we'd be in the same class and we could help each other with assignments. I remember the last class we took together. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Oh, come on. It would be fun. I promise I'll attend the classes and not just borrow your notes this time. Thanks. I was thinking about taking film studies. Why don't you take that? I like going to the movies, but I don't want to study them. I know someone who took that course last year, and she said it's very easy. Almost everyone gets an A or a B, and there is no homework. That is tempting, but I want to learn something useful. Fine, but don't complain to me if you get a C. Unit 23 The Course Schedule It's so difficult to choose what courses to take this semester. Henry, have you chosen all of your courses yet? No, Sue. I'm having a hard time making up my mind, and I still need to select two more. Do you have any ideas? Do you know anything about the professors? I heard that the psychology professor is tough but fair. If you work hard, you can get a good grade. Psychology sounds interesting. How about we both sign up for psychology? Then we'd be in the same class and we could help each other with assignments. I remember the last class we took together. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Oh, come on. It would be fun. I promise I'll attend the classes and not just borrow your notes this time. Thanks. I was thinking about taking film studies. Why don't you take that? I like going to the movies, but I don't want to study them. I know someone who took that course last year, and she said it's very easy. Almost everyone gets an A or a B, and there is no homework. That is tempting, but I want to learn something useful. Fine, but don't complain to me if you get a C. Unit 23. The Course Schedule it's so difficult to choose what courses to take this semester. Henry, have you chosen all of your courses yet? No, Sue. I'm having a hard time making up my mind, and I still need to select two more. Do you have any ideas? Do you know anything about the professors? I heard that the psychology professor is tough but fair. If you work hard, you can get a good grade. Psychology sounds interesting. How about we both sign up for psychology? Then we'd be in the same class and we could help each other with assignments. I remember the last class we took together. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Oh, come on. It would be fun. I promise I'll attend the classes and not just borrow your notes this time. Thanks. I was thinking about taking film studies. Why don't you take that? I like going to the movies, but I don't want to study them. 
I know someone who took that course last year, and she said it's very easy. Almost everyone gets an A or a B, and there is no homework. That is tempting, but I want to learn something useful. Fine, but don't complain to me if you get a C. Unit 23 The Course Schedule It's so difficult to choose what courses to take this semester. Henry, have you chosen all of your courses yet? No, Sue. I'm having a hard time making up my mind, and I still need to select two more. Do you have any ideas? Do you know anything about the professors? I heard that the psychology professor is tough but fair. If you work hard, you can get a good grade. Psychology sounds interesting. How about we both sign up for psychology? Then we'd be in the same class and we could help each other with assignments. I remember the last class we took together. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Oh, come on. It would be fun. I promise I'll attend the classes and not just borrow your notes this time. Thanks. I was thinking about taking film studies. Why don't you take that? I like going to the movies, but I don't want to study them. I know someone who took that course last year, and she said it's very easy. Almost everyone gets an A or a B, and there is no homework. That is tempting, but I want to learn something useful. Fine, but don't complain to me if you get a C. Unit 24 Food, Family, and Fun Thanksgiving is a special family holiday in America. Families come together to give thanks for all they have. Although every family celebrates in slightly different ways, a typical Thanksgiving is full of food, family, and fun. My family celebrates Thanksgiving, too. Everyone in my family goes to my parents' place for Thanksgiving. We have a large meal. Everyone helps on Thanksgiving. The children set the table. My mother cooks the turkey using her own secret ingredients. My father makes the side dishes. He makes potatoes, beans, carrots, stuffing, oysters, and beets. My mom makes cranberry sauce. My sister-in-law brings a pumpkin pie. I come early to help my parents cook. When it is time to eat, we put all the food on the table. Everyone sits down. We each say what we are thankful for before we eat. Some of us are thankful for our health, and others are thankful for their jobs. Everyone is thankful for something different. There is a lot of activity after the meal. My aunt and uncle clean off the table. My sister-in-law helps me wash the dishes. The teenagers wash and put away the silverware. The children help to tidy the dining room. My brothers take out the garbage. Then they go play football in the backyard. The rest of us sit down and relax. We are thankful for the food and our blessings. Most of all, we are thankful to have each other. Unit 24 Food, Family, and Fun Thanksgiving is a special family holiday in America. Families come together to give thanks for all they have. Although every family celebrates in slightly different ways, a typical Thanksgiving is full of food, family, and fun. My family celebrates Thanksgiving, too. Everyone in my family goes to my parents' place for Thanksgiving. We have a large meal. Everyone helps on Thanksgiving. The children set the table. My mother cooks the turkey using her own secret ingredients. My father makes the side dishes. He makes potatoes, beans, carrots, stuffing, oysters, and beets. My mom makes cranberry sauce. My sister-in-law brings a pumpkin pie. I come early to help my parents cook. When it is time to eat, we put all the food on the table. Everyone sits down. We each say what we are thankful for before we eat. Some of us are thankful for our health, and others are thankful for their jobs. Everyone is thankful for something different. There is a lot of activity after the meal. My aunt and uncle clean off the table. My sister-in-law helps me wash the dishes. 
the teenagers wash and put away the silverware. The children help to tidy the dining room. My brothers take out the garbage. Then they go play football in the backyard. The rest of us sit down and relax. We are thankful for the food and our blessings. Most of all, we are thankful to have each other. Unit 24 Food, Family, and Fun Thanksgiving is a special family holiday in America. Families come together to give thanks for all they have. Although every family celebrates in slightly different ways, a typical Thanksgiving is full of food, family, and fun. My family celebrates Thanksgiving, too. Everyone in my family goes to my parents' place for Thanksgiving. We have a large meal. Everyone helps on Thanksgiving. The children set the table. My mother cooks the turkey using her own secret ingredients. My father makes the side dishes. He makes potatoes, beans, carrots, stuffing, oysters, and beets. My mom makes cranberry sauce. My sister-in-law brings a pumpkin pie. I come early to help my parents cook. When it is time to eat, we put all the food on the table. Everyone sits down. We each say what we are thankful for before we eat. Some of us are thankful for our health, and others are thankful for their jobs. Everyone is thankful for something different. There is a lot of activity after the meal. My aunt and uncle clean off the table. My sister-in-law helps me wash the dishes. The teenagers wash and put away the silverware. The children help to tidy the dining room. My brothers take out the garbage. Then they go play football in the backyard. The rest of us sit down and relax. We are thankful for the food and our blessings. Most of all, we are thankful to have each other. Unit 24 Food, Family, and Fun Thanksgiving is a special family holiday in America. Families come together to give thanks for all they have. Although every family celebrates in slightly different ways, a typical Thanksgiving is full of food, family, and fun. My family celebrates Thanksgiving, too. Everyone in my family goes to my parents' place for Thanksgiving. We have a large meal. Everyone helps on Thanksgiving. The children set the table. My mother cooks the turkey using her own secret ingredients. My father makes the side dishes. He makes potatoes, beans, carrots, stuffing, oysters, and beets. My mom makes cranberry sauce. My sister-in-law brings a pumpkin pie. I come early to help my parents cook. When it is time to eat, we put all the food on the table. Everyone sits down. We each say what we are thankful for before we eat. Some of us are thankful for our health, and others are thankful for their jobs. Everyone is thankful for something different. There is a lot of activity after the meal. My aunt and uncle clean off the table. My sister-in-law helps me wash the dishes. The teenagers wash and put away the silverware. The children help to tidy the dining room. My brothers take out the garbage. Then they go play football in the backyard. The rest of us sit down and relax. We are thankful for the food and our blessings. Most of all, we are thankful to have each other. Unit 24 Food, Family, and Fun Thanksgiving is a special family holiday in America. Families come together to give thanks for all they have. Although every family celebrates in slightly different ways, a typical Thanksgiving is full of food, family, and fun. My family celebrates Thanksgiving, too. Everyone in my family goes to my parents' place for Thanksgiving. We have a large meal. Everyone helps on Thanksgiving. The children set the table. My mother cooks the turkey using her own secret ingredients. My father makes the side dishes. He makes potatoes, beans, carrots, stuffing, oysters, and beets. My mom makes cranberry sauce. My sister-in-law brings a pumpkin pie. I come early to help my parents cook. 
When it is time to eat, we put all the food on the table. Everyone sits down. We each say what we are thankful for before we eat. Some of us are thankful for our health, and others are thankful for their jobs. Everyone is thankful for something different. There is a lot of activity after the meal. My aunt and uncle clean off the table. My sister in law helps me wash the dishes. The teenagers wash and put away the silverware. The children help to tidy the dining room. My brothers take out the garbage. Then they go play football in the backyard. The rest of us sit down and relax. We are thankful for the food and our blessings. Most of all, we are thankful to have each other. Unit 25 The Project Hey, Dad, do you think you can help me out? I've just been assigned this enormous project at school, and I really don't know where to begin. Sure, Jason, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, Dad, I know you'll be a great help and inspiration to me. Okay, okay, that's enough flattery from you for one day. What's this project about? Well, I have two choices. I can research your profession, or I can interview someone that I admire about their profession. If I do the second option, I must also add my own opinion about their profession. Well, I am an expert when it comes to my profession. Accounting is a noble profession, and one that I am always happy to talk about. Dad, I know how much you love your career. It isn't that I don't admire you, but what I was hoping actually. Was that you could speak to Mr. Chang, your diving friend, and see if he would agree to an interview. Diving for a living sounds cool. I see. That's a great idea. You know how I really dislike talking about myself for too long. Let me give David Chang a call right now and find out. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. I know this will be an awesome project. Unit 25 The Project. Hey, Dad, do you think you can help me out? I've just been assigned this enormous project at school, and I really don't know where to begin. Sure, Jason, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, Dad, I know you'll be a great help and inspiration to me. Okay, okay, that's enough flattery from you for one day. What's this project about? Well, I have two choices I can research your profession. Or I can interview someone that I admire about their profession. If I do the second option, I must also add my own opinion about their profession. Well, I am an expert when it comes to my profession. Accounting is a noble profession and one that I am always happy to talk about. Dad, I know how much you love your career. It isn't that I don't admire you, but what I was hoping actually was that you could speak to Mr. Chang, your diving friend. And see if he would agree to an interview. Diving for a living sounds cool. I see. That's a great idea. You know how I really dislike talking about myself for too long. Let me give David Chang a call right now and find out. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. I know this will be an awesome project. Unit 25 The Project Hey, Dad. Do you think you can help me out? I've just been assigned this enormous project at school, and I really don't know where to begin. Sure, Jason, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, Dad, I know you'll be a great help and inspiration to me. Okay, okay, that's enough flattery from you for one day. What's this project about? Well, I have two choices I can research your profession, or I can interview someone that I admire about their profession. If I do the second option, I must also add my own opinion about their profession. Well, I am an expert when it comes to my profession. Accounting is a noble profession and one that I am always happy to talk about. Dad, I know how much you love your career. It isn't that I don't admire you, but what I was hoping actually was that you could speak to Mr. Chang, your diving friend, and see if he would agree to an interview. Diving for a living sounds cool. I see. That's a great idea. You know how I really dislike talking about myself for too long. Let me give David Chang a call right now and find out.
Thanks, Dad. You're the best. I know this will be an awesome project. Unit 25 The Project Hey, Dad. Do you think you can help me out? I've just been assigned this enormous project at school, and I really don't know where to begin. Sure, Jason. I'll give it my best shot. Oh, Dad. I know you'll be a great help and inspiration to me. Okay, okay. That's enough flattery from you for one day. What's this project about? Well, I have two choices. I can research your profession, or I can interview someone that I admire about their profession. If I do the second option, I must also add my own opinion about their profession. Well, I am an expert when it comes to my profession. Accounting is a noble profession and one that I am always happy to talk about. Dad, I know how much you love your career. It isn't that I don't admire you, but what I was hoping actually was that you could speak to Mr. Chang, your diving friend, and see if he would agree to an interview. Diving for a living sounds cool. I see. That's a great idea. You know how I really dislike talking about myself for too long. Let me give David Chang a call right now and find out. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. I know this will be an awesome project. Unit 25 The Project Hey, Dad. Do you think you can help me out? I've just been assigned this enormous project at school, and I really don't know where to begin. Sure, Jason. I'll give it my best shot. Oh, Dad. I know you'll be a great help and inspiration to me. Okay, okay. That's enough flattery from you for one day. What's this project about? Well, I have two choices. I can research your profession, or I can interview someone that I admire about their profession. If I do the second option, I must also add my own opinion about their profession. Well, I am an expert when it comes to my profession. Accounting is a noble profession and one that I am always happy to talk about. Dad, I know how much you love your career. It isn't that I don't admire you, but what I was hoping actually was that you could speak to Mr. Chang, your diving friend, and see if he would agree to an interview. Diving for a living sounds cool. I see. That's a great idea. You know how I really dislike talking about myself for too long. Let me give David Chang a call right now and find out. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. I know this will be an awesome project. People and Work Unit 26 The Assignment Hello, Wendy. Who did you do your homework about? I wrote about my dad because he is a firefighter. Really? Does he actually go into burning buildings? Yes. And he sometimes has to crawl into tight places to rescue people. Has he ever been trapped in a burning building? Well, one time he needed to break down a door. He was carrying a little girl out of her house. Someone left the stove on, and it ignited a fire in the kitchen. Was everyone all right? All five people living there escaped safely, but the house burned to the ground. Your dad is incredibly brave. A real hero. What does he do at the fire station? He resides there for a few days when he works. All of the firefighters cook, eat, and clean together. When there's a fire, they slide down a pole into the fire station's garage to get their firefighting equipment. They quickly put on their gear and then jump onto the fire trucks. My dad loves to drive the fire trucks. Wow! Maybe I should be a firefighter someday. I'm definitely going to be a firefighter, Ian. I want to be just like my dad. People and Work Unit 26 The Assignment Hello, Wendy. Who did you do your homework about? I wrote about my dad because he is a firefighter. Really? Does he actually go into burning buildings? Yes. And he sometimes has to crawl into tight places to rescue people. Has he ever been trapped in a burning building? Well, one time he needed to break down a door. He was carrying a little girl out of her house. Someone left the stove on, 
and it ignited a fire in the kitchen. Was everyone all right? All five people living there escaped safely, but the house burned to the ground. Your dad is incredibly brave, a real hero. What does he do at the fire station? He resides there for a few days when he works. All of the firefighters cook, eat, and clean together. When there's a fire, they slide down a pole into the fire station's garage to get their firefighting equipment. They quickly put on their gear and then jump onto the fire trucks. My dad loves to drive the fire trucks. Wow, maybe I should be a firefighter someday. I'm definitely going to be a firefighter, Ian. I want to be just like my dad. People and work. Unit Twenty Six. The assignment. Hello, Wendy. Who did you do your homework about? I wrote about my dad because he is a firefighter. Really? Does he actually go into burning buildings? Yes, and he sometimes has to crawl into tight places to rescue people. Has he ever been trapped in a burning building? Well, one time he needed to break down a door. He was carrying a little girl out of her house. Someone left the stove on, and it ignited a fire in the kitchen. Was everyone all right? All five people living there escaped safely, but the house burned to the ground. Your dad is incredibly brave, a real hero. What does he do at the fire station? He resides there for a few days when he works. All of the firefighters cook, eat, and clean together. When there's a fire, they slide down a pole into the fire station's garage to get their firefighting equipment. They quickly put on their gear and then jump onto the fire trucks. My dad loves to drive the fire trucks. Wow, maybe I should be a firefighter someday. I'm definitely going to be a firefighter, Ian. I want to be just like my dad. People and work. Unit Twenty Six. The assignment. Hello, Wendy. Who did you do your homework about? I wrote about my dad because he is a firefighter. Really? Does he actually go into burning buildings? Yes, and he sometimes has to crawl into tight places to rescue people. Has he ever been trapped in a burning building? Well, one time he needed to break down a door. He was carrying a little girl out of her house. Someone left the stove on, and it ignited a fire in the kitchen. Was everyone all right? All five people living there escaped safely, but the house burned to the ground. Your dad is incredibly brave, a real hero. What does he do at the fire station? He resides there for a few days when he works. All of the firefighters cook, eat, and clean together. When there's a fire, they slide down a pole into the fire station's garage to get their firefighting equipment. They quickly put on their gear and then jump onto the fire trucks. My dad loves to drive the fire trucks. Wow, maybe I should be a firefighter someday. I'm definitely going to be a firefighter, Ian. I want to be just like my dad. People and work. Unit Twenty Six. The assignment. Hello, Wendy. Who did you do your homework about? I wrote about my dad because he is a firefighter. Really? Does he actually go into burning buildings? Yes, and he sometimes has to crawl into tight places to rescue people. Has he ever been trapped in a burning building? Well, one time he needed to break down a door. He was carrying a little girl out of her house. Someone left the stove on, and it ignited a fire in the kitchen. Was everyone all right? All five people living there escaped safely, but the house burned to the ground. Your dad is incredibly brave, a real hero. What does he do at the fire station? He resides there for a few days when he works. All of the firefighters cook, eat, and clean together. When there's a fire, they slide down a pole into the fire station's garage to get their firefighting equipment. They quickly put on their gear and then jump onto the fire trucks. 
My dad loves to drive the fire trucks. Wow, maybe I should be a firefighter someday. I'm definitely going to be a firefighter, Ian. I want to be just like my dad. Unit 27, Coco Lee. Theron Lee's mother hoped her daughter would follow in her footsteps and become a doctor. However, Theron always knew she wanted to sing. In her spare time, Theron sang along with pop songs. Theron also entered singing contests. She won many competitions. Her big break came after high school. She was on vacation in Hong Kong and took second place in an important singing competition. She got a recording contract with Fancy Pie Records and, a few years later, Sony. Today, Coco Lee, as she is now known, is one of the most famous pop singers in the world. She was born in Hong Kong on January 17, 1975, but she was raised in San Francisco. She has made records in English and Chinese. Her 1998 album, Di Da Di, won the MTV Asia Music Award for Best Album and Best Music Video. Coco's next album was in English. It was called Just No Other Way. It introduced her to American audiences. Apart from her beautiful voice and stunning looks, Coco Lee is intelligent. She had a 3.8 grade point average in college. She also earned a double major in biochemistry and bioscience. One of her dreams, she says, is to help find a cure for cancer. Who knows? Coco's mother may yet get her wish. Unit 27. Coco Lee. Theron Lee's mother hoped her daughter would follow in her footsteps and become a doctor. However, Theron always knew she wanted to sing. In her spare time, Theron sang along with pop songs. Theron also entered singing contests. She won many competitions. Her big break came after high school. She was on vacation in Hong Kong and took second place in an important singing competition. She got a recording contract with Fancy Pie Records and, a few years later, Sony. Today, Coco Lee, as she is now known, is one of the most famous pop singers in the world. She was born in Hong Kong on January 17, 1975, but she was raised in San Francisco. She has made records in English and Chinese. Her 1998 album, Di Da Di, won the MTV Asia Music Award for Best Album and Best Music Video. Coco's next album was in English. It was called just no other way. It introduced her to American audiences. Apart from her beautiful voice and stunning looks, Coco Lee is intelligent. She had a 3.8 grade point average in college. She also earned a double major in biochemistry and bioscience. One of her dreams, she says, is to help find a cure for cancer. Who knows? Coco's mother may yet get her wish. Unit 27, Coco Lee. Theron Lee's mother hoped her daughter would follow in her footsteps and become a doctor. However, Theron always knew she wanted to sing. In her spare time, Theron sang along with pop songs. Theron also entered singing contests. She won many competitions. Her big break came after high school. She was on vacation in Hong Kong and took second place in an important singing competition. She got a recording contract with Fancy Pie Records and, a few years later, Sony. Today, Coco Lee, as she is now known, is one of the most famous pop singers in the world. She was born in Hong Kong on January 17, 1975, but she was raised in San Francisco. She has made records in English and Chinese. Her 1998 album, Di Da Di, won the MTV Asia Music Award for Best Album and Best Music Video. Coco's next album was in English. It was called Just No Other Way. 
It introduced her to American audiences. Apart from her beautiful voice and stunning looks, Coco Lee is intelligent. She had a 3.8 grade point average in college. She also earned a double major in biochemistry and bioscience. One of her dreams, she says, is to help find a cure for cancer. Who knows? Coco's mother may yet get her wish. Unit 27. Coco Lee. Theron Lee's mother hoped her daughter would follow in her footsteps and become a doctor. However, Theron always knew she wanted to sing. In her spare time, Theron sang along with pop songs. Theron also entered singing contests. She won many competitions. Her big break came after high school. She was on vacation in Hong Kong and took second place in an important singing competition. She got a recording contract with Fancy Pie Records and, a few years later, Sony. Today, Coco Lee, as she is now known, is one of the most famous pop singers in the world. She was born in Hong Kong on January 17, 1975, but she was raised in San Francisco. She has made records in English and Chinese. Her 1998 album, Di Da Di, won the MTV Asia Music Award for Best Album and Best Music Video. Coco's next album was in English. It was called Just No Other Way. It introduced her to American audiences. Apart from her beautiful voice and stunning looks, Coco Lee is intelligent. She had a 3.8 grade point average in college. She also earned a double major in biochemistry and bioscience. One of her dreams, she says, is to help find a cure for cancer. Who knows? Coco's mother may yet get her wish. Unit 27. Coco Lee. Theron Lee's mother hoped her daughter would follow in her footsteps and become a doctor. However, Theron always knew she wanted to sing. In her spare time, Theron sang along with pop songs. Theron also entered singing contests. She won many competitions. Her big break came after high school. She was on vacation in Hong Kong and took second place in an important singing competition. She got a recording contract with Fancy Pie Records and, a few years later, Sony. Today, Coco Lee, as she is now known, is one of the most famous pop singers in the world. She was born in Hong Kong on January 17, 1975, but she was raised in San Francisco. She has made records in English and Chinese. Her 1998 album, Di Da Di, won the MTV Asia Music Award for Best Album and Best Music Video. Coco's next album was in English. It was called Just No Other Way. It introduced her to American audiences. Apart from her beautiful voice and stunning looks, Coco Lee is intelligent. She had a 3.8 grade point average in college. She also earned a double major in biochemistry and bioscience. One of her dreams, she says, is to help find a cure for cancer. Who knows? Coco's mother may yet get her wish. Unit 28. A Blind Date What's wrong, Mike? You appear to be depressed. I haven't slept in days, and I feel awful. My fiancé and I broke up just before I went to Madrid for the concert. Why didn't you say something? No wonder your playing sounded so bad. Oh dear, I'm really sorry. It was an appalling performance, I agree. I was miserable and unhappy, but I had to perform anyway. Have you been seeing anyone else since you broke up with her? No, I have been working overtime instead. The conductor was not pleased with my last performance. Besides, don't you think it's too soon? Not at all. You might just need to get out and socialize. Hey, I've got a fabulous idea. Oh no, not another one of your ideas. What is it this time? Do you remember me telling you about Julia 
A friend from work? I think so. Why? Well, she is single. I could set up the two of you. A blind date? I tried that when I was younger, and it was a disaster. Come on, Mike. I'd be helping two friends who will, of course, have a great time together. She has a charming personality, and she also plays the oboe. You can go to the concert in the park on Saturday afternoon. Maybe you can have coffee afterwards. She plays the oboe? Okay. Let me know when and where to meet her. Unit 28 A Blind Date. What's wrong, Mike? You appear to be depressed. I haven't slept in days, and I feel awful. My fiance and I broke up just before I went to Madrid for the concert. Why didn't you say something? No wonder your playing sounded so bad. Oh dear, I'm really sorry. It was an appalling performance, I agree. I was miserable and unhappy, but I had to perform anyway. Have you been seeing anyone else since you broke up with her? No, I have been working overtime instead. The conductor was not pleased with my last performance. Besides, don't you think it's too soon? Not at all. You might just need to get out and socialize. Hey, I've got a fabulous idea. Oh no, not another one of your ideas. What is it this time? Do you remember me telling you about Julia, a friend from work? I think so. Why? Well, she is single. I could set up the two of you. A blind date? I tried that when I was younger, and it was a disaster. Come on, Mike. I'd be helping two friends who will, of course, have a great time together. She has a charming personality, and she also plays the oboe. You can go to the concert in the park on Saturday afternoon. Maybe you can have coffee afterwards. She plays the oboe? Okay. Let me know when and where to meet her. Unit 28 A Blind Date What's wrong, Mike? You appear to be depressed. I haven't slept in days, and I feel awful. My fiancé and I broke up just before I went to Madrid for the concert. Why didn't you say something? No wonder your playing sounded so bad. Oh dear, I'm really sorry. It was an appalling performance, I agree. I was miserable and unhappy, but I had to perform anyway. Have you been seeing anyone else since you broke up with her? No, I have been working overtime instead. The conductor was not pleased with my last performance. Besides, don't you think it's too soon? Not at all. You might just need to get out and socialize. Hey, I've got a fabulous idea. Oh no, not another one of your ideas. What is it this time? Do you remember me telling you about Julia, a friend from work? I think so. Why? Well, she is single. I could set up the two of you. A blind date? I tried that when I was younger, and it was a disaster. Come on, Mike. I'd be helping two friends who will, of course, have a great time together. She has a charming personality, and she also plays the oboe. You can go to the concert in the park on Saturday afternoon. Maybe you can have coffee afterwards. She plays the oboe? Okay. Let me know when and where to meet her. Unit 28 A Blind Date What's wrong, Mike? You appear to be depressed. I haven't slept in days, and I feel awful. My fiancé and I broke up just before I went to Madrid for the concert. Why didn't you say something? No wonder your playing sounded so bad. Oh dear, I'm really sorry. It was an appalling performance, I agree. I was miserable and unhappy, but I had to perform anyway. Have you been seeing anyone else since you broke up with her? No, I have been working overtime instead. The conductor was not pleased with my last performance. Besides, don't you think it's too soon? Not at all. You might just need to get out and socialize. Hey, I've got a fabulous idea. Oh no, not another one of your ideas. What is it this time? Do you remember me telling you about Julia? A friend from work? I think so. Why? Well, she is single. 
I could set up the two of you. A blind date? I tried that when I was younger, and it was a disaster. Come on, Mike. I'd be helping two friends who will, of course, have a great time together. She has a charming personality, and she also plays the oboe. You can go to the concert in the park on Saturday afternoon. Maybe you can have coffee afterwards. She plays the oboe? Okay. Let me know when and where to meet her. Unit 28 A Blind Date. What's wrong, Mike? You appear to be depressed. I haven't slept in days, and I feel awful. My fiance and I broke up just before I went to Madrid for the concert. Why didn't you say something? No wonder your playing sounded so bad. Oh dear, I'm really sorry. It was an appalling performance, I agree. I was miserable and unhappy, but I had to perform anyway. Have you been seeing anyone else since you broke up with her? No, I have been working overtime instead. The conductor was not pleased with my last performance. Besides, don't you think it's too soon? Not at all. You might just need to get out and socialize. Hey, I've got a fabulous idea. Oh no, not another one of your ideas. What is it this time? Do you remember me telling you about Julia, a friend from work? I think so. Why? Well, she is single. I could set up the two of you. A blind date? I tried that when I was younger, and it was a disaster. Come on, Mike. I'd be helping two friends who will, of course, have a great time together. She has a charming personality. And she also plays the oboe. You can go to the concert in the park on Saturday afternoon. Maybe you can have coffee afterwards. She plays the oboe? Okay. Let me know when and where to meet her. Unit 29. Crime Does Not Pay Have you ever thought about committing a crime? Have you ever dreamed about holding up a bank and driving away in a fast car? Or have you ever thought about taking a famous painting from a big museum? There are many stories in movies and on TV of criminals who make a lot of money. They go on to live a life of luxury. However, for every successful criminal, there are many, many more who fail. These crooks soon regret their crimes. Take the example of a man in Winnipeg who tried to break into cars in a police academy parking lot. The man was found by the police in the parking lot. They saw him trying to open the doors of all the cars. The man was hoping to find some loose change or maybe take some good car stereos. However, he did not know that he was being watched by police officers. He chose the parking lot because it was in a very quiet area. He thought that no one would see him. He was soon arrested by the police. A foolish criminal like this man shows us that crime does not pay. Unit 29. Crime Does Not Pay Have you ever thought about committing a crime? Have you ever dreamed about holding up a bank and driving away in a fast car? Or have you ever thought about taking a famous painting from a big museum? There are many stories in movies and on TV of criminals who make a lot of money. They go on to live a life of luxury. However, for every successful criminal, there are many, many more who fail. These crooks soon regret their crimes. Take the example of a man in Winnipeg who tried to break into cars in a police academy parking lot. The man was found by the police in the parking lot. They saw him trying to open the doors of all the cars. The man was hoping to find some loose change or maybe take some good car stereos. However, he did not know that he was being watched by police officers. He chose the parking lot because it was in a very quiet area. He thought that no one would see him. He was soon arrested by the police. A foolish criminal like this man shows us that crime does not pay. Unit 29. Crime Does Not Pay Have you ever thought about committing a crime? 
Have you ever dreamed about holding up a bank and driving away in a fast car? Or have you ever thought about taking a famous painting from a big museum? There are many stories in movies and on TV of criminals who make a lot of money. They go on to live a life of luxury. However, for every successful criminal, there are many, many more who fail. These crooks soon regret their crimes. Take the example of a man in Winnipeg who tried to break into cars in a police academy parking lot. The man was found by the police in the parking lot. They saw him trying to open the doors of all the cars. The man was hoping to find some loose change or maybe take some good car stereos. However, he did not know that he was being watched by police officers. He chose the parking lot because it was in a very quiet area. He thought that no one would see him. He was soon arrested by the police. A foolish criminal like this man shows us that crime does not pay. Unit 29 Crime Does Not Pay Have you ever thought about committing a crime? Have you ever dreamed about holding up a bank and driving away in a fast car? Or have you ever thought about taking a famous painting from a big museum? There are many stories in movies and on TV of criminals who make a lot of money. They go on to live a life of luxury. However, for every successful criminal, there are many, many more who fail. These crooks soon regret their crimes. Take the example of a man in Winnipeg who tried to break into cars in a police academy parking lot. The man was found by the police in the parking lot. They saw him trying to open the doors of all the cars. The man was hoping to find some loose change or maybe take some good car stereos. However, he did not know that he was being watched by police officers. He chose the parking lot because it was in a very quiet area. He thought that no one would see him. He was soon arrested by the police. A foolish criminal like this man shows us that crime does not pay. Unit 29. Crime Does Not Pay Have you ever thought about committing a crime? Have you ever dreamed about holding up a bank and driving away in a fast car? Or have you ever thought about taking a famous painting from a big museum? There are many stories in movies and on TV of criminals who make a lot of money. They go on to live a life of luxury. However, for every successful criminal, there are many, many more who fail. These crooks soon regret their crimes. Take the example of a man in Winnipeg who tried to break into cars in a police academy parking lot. The man was found by the police in the parking lot. They saw him trying to open the doors of all the cars. The man was hoping to find some loose change or maybe take some good car stereos. However, he did not know that he was being watched by police officers. He chose the parking lot because it was in a very quiet area. He thought that no one would see him. He was soon arrested by the police. A foolish criminal like this man shows us that crime does not pay. Unit 30. A Job Interview Hello, Ms. Jones. Please come in and sit down. Thank you. So, you're applying for the position of computer technician? Yes, that's right. My name is Mr. Smith, and I will be interviewing you today. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? As my resume shows, I graduated from Leeds University with a computer science degree. During my junior and senior years, I worked part-time as a computer lab monitor in the university. As part of that job, I helped students with PC and desktop application problems and did hardware and software maintenance. I also taught a weekly one-hour class on how to use Microsoft Office applications. How would you describe yourself? I really enjoy problem solving and I'm hardworking. I'm also very organized, so when I have a lot of problems to deal with, I make a list and work through it from the most to the least urgent. That way, I can get everything done within the set deadlines.
That's a good way to manage your time. Just one more question. Why do you want to work for us? Your company is well known and is respected in the computer industry. I would really like a chance to be part of your company. Okay. Thank you for coming in. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Goodbye. Unit 30 A Job Interview. Hello, Ms. Jones. Please come in and sit down. Thank you. So, you're applying for the position of computer technician? Yes, that's right. My name is Mr. Smith, and I will be interviewing you today. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? As my resume shows, I graduated from Leeds University with a computer science degree. During my junior and senior years, I worked part time as a computer lab monitor in the university. As part of that job, I helped students with PC and desktop application problems and did hardware and software maintenance. I also taught a weekly one hour class on how to use Microsoft Office applications. How would you describe yourself? I really enjoy problem solving and I'm hard working. I'm also very organized. So, when I have a lot of problems to deal with, I make a list and work through it from the most to the least urgent. That way, I can get everything done within the set deadlines. That's a good way to manage your time. Just one more question Why do you want to work for us? Your company is well known and is respected in the computer industry. I would really like a chance to be part of your company. Okay, thank you for coming in. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Goodbye. Unit 30 A Job Interview. Hello, Ms. Jones. Please come in and sit down. Thank you. So, you're applying for the position of computer technician? Yes, that's right. My name is Mr. Smith, and I will be interviewing you today. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? As my resume shows, I graduated from Leeds University with a computer science degree. During my junior and senior years, I worked part time as a computer lab monitor in the university. As part of that job, I helped students with PC and desktop application problems and did hardware and software maintenance. I also taught a weekly one hour class on how to use Microsoft Office applications. How would you describe yourself? I really enjoy problem solving and I'm hard working. I'm also very organized, so when I have a lot of problems to deal with, I make a list and work through it from the most to the least urgent. That way, I can get everything done within the set deadlines. That's a good way to manage your time. Just one more question Why do you want to work for us? Your company is well known and is respected in the computer industry. I would really like a chance to be part of your company. Okay. Thank you for coming in. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Goodbye. Unit 30 A Job Interview. Hello, Ms. Jones. Please come in and sit down. Thank you. So, you're applying for the position of computer technician? Yes, that's right. My name is Mr. Smith, and I will be interviewing you today. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? As my resume shows, I graduated from Leeds University with a computer science degree. During my junior and senior years, I worked part time as a computer lab monitor in the university. As part of that job, I helped students with PC and desktop application problems and did hardware and software maintenance. I also taught a weekly one hour class on how to use Microsoft Office applications. How would you describe yourself? I really enjoy problem solving and I'm hard working. I'm also very organized, so when I have a lot of problems to deal with, I make a list and work through it from the most to the least urgent. That way, I can get everything done within the set deadlines. That's a good way to manage your time. Just one more question. Why do you want to work for us? Your company is well known and is respected in the computer industry. I would really like a chance to be part of your company. Okay, thank you for coming in. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Goodbye. Unit 30 
A job interview. Hello, Ms. Jones. Please come in and sit down. Thank you. So you're applying for the position of computer technician? Yes, that's right. My name is Mr. Smith, and I will be interviewing you today. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? As my resume shows, I graduated from Leeds University with a computer science degree. During my junior and senior years, I worked part time as a computer lab monitor in the university. As part of that job, I helped students with PC and desktop application problems and did hardware and software maintenance. I also taught a weekly one hour class on how to use Microsoft Office applications. How would you describe yourself? I really enjoy problem solving and I'm hard working. I'm also very organized. So, when I have a lot of problems to deal with, I make a list and work through it from the most to the least urgent. That way, I can get everything done within the set deadlines. That's a good way to manage your time. Just one more question Why do you want to work for us? Your company is well known and is respected in the computer industry. I would really like a chance to be part of your company. Okay, thank you for coming in. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Goodbye.